Hey there, Jonathan Hardy, co-founder of Leaders.Church here with you today. And I want to share a quick tip about preparation for Easter as it relates to stewarding the momentum that God wants to bring to your church. You see, right now you're in a building season as you're preparing for Easter. And Easter in and of itself is a natural momentum builder for the church, typically because it's the largest uh, Sunday or weekend for most churches. Uh, And so this is a great opportunity for you as uh, a pastor and ministry leader to be building and stewarding the momentum that God wants to bring to you. Now, we often talk about building momentum or you hear us hear people talk about riding the wave of momentum, but you don't hear a lot about stewarding momentum. And, and, and this is something that's very important as it relates to Easter because getting people to Easter weekend, whether you have an Easter outreach, whether you um, have just a big production or Easter services or whatever that looks like in your context, you get them there. But then what happens after? How do you steward all this momentum that you worked so hard to build and that naturally was built just because it's Easter? How do you steward that and make the most of that for the weeks that follow? And that's what I want to talk to you about in the next couple of minutes. You see, it's one thing to ride the wave of momentum. You hear people talking about riding this wave and and, and that's fun when you're on the wave and it's a great ride. But what happens to every wave? it eventually crashes. It eventually dissipates. It it hits the beach and it's no longer a wave. And and that's what can happen in churches. And that's what can happen with your Easter weekend experience and the weeks that follow. And so we want to make sure as ministry leaders that we steward the momentum and we keep pushing that momentum forward. We we take what we have and and we move it forward uh, into uh, an opportunity for us to continue to build upon it in the weeks that follow. And so how do you steward it? What what does that look like? Well, in my mind, you need to develop as you're as you're working now for Easter, you need to develop a post Easter plan. So part of your time and your energy and your planning right now should not should should be also for what's to come at the end of Easter, what's to happen the day after Easter on Monday and Tuesday and the Sunday, the following Sunday and the the Sundays that follow and, and have a plan in place. So that means right now you need to begin putting time and attention and focus on the plan after Easter. What does that look like for you? Maybe it's a sermon series that's going to hit people where they're at uh, for for those who are new to the faith, or maybe they're not even uh, walking in faith in God yet, and and so we want to be able to have some kind of a a hook that's going to make them say, "Ooh, I want to come back for that." Um, you know, it's also as it relates to time after Easter. Now, you know, I don't know about you, but I know uh, for many ministry leaders, they are wiped after Easter because we work so hard to to build up to the Easter weekend and then we get to Easter and then Easter's done and then it's, oh, we're done. We don't have to do any more hard work, but that's really when the work begins. And so we want to make sure that you get your vacation in now. You make sure that three, four or five weeks before Easter, depending on when you're watching this, that you're getting some time off. You're getting some rest because you're building up energy and strength for Easter and the week or two that follow. Uh, you want to make sure too that you're not just taking the days off right after Easter, uh, or at least some of the team. The people are on the on the ground. They've got they're ready to go with uh, the action plan, your post Easter plan that you have in place. Uh, and then as it relates to the the money and the resource that we invest in the Easter weekend, we have to remember that it's not all about just building this huge weekend. I mean, we want to we want to do what we can to build on the natural momentum that happens, no doubt. But we also need to make sure that we allocate some some resource for the post-Easter plan, for for whatever it is that we're going to do to steward that momentum that God has brought to the church. And so, you know, you may take a third of the amount of money that you were planning to spend to for Facebook ads, for invite cards, for print pieces, um, all the different mailers or things that you would do, videos, and make sure that you print uh, a card that's got that hook for after and uh, after uh, after Easter, and so maybe that it's a card that's on every seat, highlighting what's to come, what they could experience, how it's going to benefit them if they come back in the weeks that follow. So you're using some resource uh, for that. And so the whole idea with Easter is obviously we celebrate the resurrection and what Christ did for us. Clearly, that's an element 
uh, a, a huge part of what we're doing. I mean, that is the sole reason for Easter. But we want to make sure that we use it wisely so that we can build the church, grow the church, reach more people, make more disciples. And that happens when they keep coming back. And so that's where that post-Easter plan comes into place. And that's what really happens when you steward the momentum that God brings to the church. We don't want to just ride this wave and then let it dissipate. We don't want to just build momentum and get this big weekend and like, all right, we did it. And then that's it. Having the people there for your weekend, whatever whatever it looks like, outreach, production, the Sunday service itself, whatever that might be, that is great. That is important. But it's more than this, just that. It's, it's getting people to come back in the weeks that follow so that we can actually make disciples, so that we can actually help them grow in their faith or take that first step uh, in their journey toward God, whatever that might look like for them and for every individual that you're reaching in your community. So the key is, steward the momentum. Build it. Yes, you have to build it, but then you want to steward it. You want to ride that wave. You don't want to just build it and let it go. You need to steward it and look for opportunities to build upon what you're doing. So you're building and building and building and you're kind of stacking the uh, the promotion. You're stacking the opportunities so that way you keep building upon it. And that's going to be the key that's going to help you see more lives changed in the weeks that follow and see more people come to your church and and sitting in your seats and and, and getting exposed to the gospel of Christ. So with that being said, I hope that you have an amazing Easter. I pray that God uses it and and your time now in preparation, not only for the weekend itself, but for the weeks that follow so that you can see more and more people come to know God and follow him in the weeks to come. Take care. Talk to you next time. Be blessed.